I'm gonna put the roof on the barn. I'm gonna finish it tonight. And I wanted to bring you along. the work in getting these panels on at least the hard work of getting them lined up is in that first panel down there you have to make sure it's lined up straight the rest of them pretty much just line up with the last one turns out the barn's not perfect so I have had to make some minor adjustments along the way but for the most part these panels are going on quite nicely I get it lined up on the bottom as close as I can, paying attention to the top up at the ridge up there to make sure that I'm not way off. This is the side I'm mostly concerned about in the beginning of each sheet. This is my sheet metal screw. It's got a washer built in and a little rubber gasket below that washer. Once it seats in real tight, no water is going to get around that screw. It's a little bit of a challenge and an awkward thing in, up here on the roof to try to get that screw to go through that sheet metal without any sort of a pilot hole or a punch. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the screw and placing it where I want it and just giving it a tap with the hammer. Then I can take my drill and it goes through a lot easier. Once I get one screw in the bottom, then I can head up to the top and start putting screws up there and work my way down. Now that I'm up top, I just make sure that it's seated, sitting in the right place, all in line. Then I can start putting screws up here. Most of my screws are going to be in the edges or in the V crimps, but occasionally I'm putting them on the flat parts at the top and the bottom of this panel. I'm going slowly because I don't want to ratchet that down real tight to where it starts bending and warping the metal. Now I'm going to slide down the roof and everywhere there's a horizontal board I'm going to be putting a screw in the outside of the v-crimp and the middle v-crimp. The last couple of screws I put in from the ladder there was a little bit of an accident, or almost an accident. When I first started doing this on that end, I was doing it from the bottom up and I was sliding backwards. I got to be so focused on just sliding backwards and putting those screws in, I almost slid my bum off. I almost slid my bum off the 12 foot tall section of the roof over here. There you go, we just installed a sheet of metal on the barn roof. I'm gonna put two more screws in the bottom of this sheet of metal right here, and then I'm gonna pull another sheet up. We have two more sheets to go before this barn roof is done. It took a little longer for me to get off the roof than I expected because while I was up there, Bo Brotherton from Better Together Life gave me a call, so I answered his phone call while I was working on the roof. He had some questions about posting on the Steemit website. This is steemit.com. And for the last month or so, I've been playing around with it. It's kind of like a blogging site. And they reward you for being a creator and a community member on that site for posting and voting and commenting. So he had some questions about how to get started.
I'm gonna get this second sheet on without a whole lot of recording just so I can get it done. One sheet left. We're down to the last sheet of metal to put on the Daddy Curbs horse barn. You did it, you helped me install a roof. Now take a minute, go get a cold drink or something, relax in the shade, because I know you're warm after being up on that sunny roof for all that time. But seriously, it looks great, and I couldn't have done it without you. And let me say that my guess at how many screws I needed was pretty close. These are sold by the pound. I needed to know how many of these were going to go into the roof, so I did a little guessing and calculation based on the number of rafters and the number of horizontals. Then I sat and counted in the hardware store how many of these were in a pound. I found out that it was really close to about 100 screws in a pound. My calculations told me it was going to take about 600 screws for this roof, so I bought 6 pounds. I still have a few more to put in, and I only have a small handful left, so I was pretty close. We did it. We put the roof on and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that. Now we got to focus on getting the siding on and then trim it up and paint it. Get the fence built. This is starting to sound like a long list. I almost felt like we were getting close. Oh well, we made another step toward the goal and I'm pretty happy about that. It truly was a pleasure having you on the roof with me tonight to help me. I think it would be kind of fun if in the comments below, if you can say something like, I helped Daddy Curbs put his barn roof on, or if you can use that same phrase in one of your social media posts when you share this video, just say, I was there, I helped Daddy Curbs put the roof on his barn. I just think that would be fun. Thanks again for watching this evening. I will come back soon, hopefully when there's another update on the barn or maybe something in the garden or tortoises or chickens or whatever. Until then, I'll talk to you soon.